Sierra Leone is blessed with rich natural heritage and possess huge opportunities for investment that could be a source of economic development. But identifying these opportunities and investing in it has been a challenge. According to the Minister of Tourism, Memuna Tuprat, the tourism sector is contributing less to the country's GDP compared to other countries that contribute up to 50%. She said tourism must be situated at the heart of the country so as to ensure economic development. Tourism is a big income honor for any country. It is the engine at the head and the heart of trade and investment because all of you do it's about local content, it's about creating the jobs, it's about putting money to different pockets. Not to talk of the taxes collected. If you want to do many things, how many taxes you pay? Apart from the taxes which you pay in the sector, those people who are living in the sector also pay taxes, which increases their revenue. So, which means in all the processes of running tourism, it's all about gains, it's all about taking livelihoods. In identifying the different sites for investment, Director of Tourism Mohamed Jalo said they have identified 15 national protected areas that must be developed so as to enhance investment in the sector. These sites identified are in dire need of facilities that could beautify these areas for touristic investment. Experts in the tourism sector see the drive as a step in the right direction, but highlighted factors to be considered for positive outcome. Um, normally, I engage some of the people who live in some of these areas, talking about climate change, how climate change affects some of these areas, you know, eating, you know, the area. So if you want to do some development, I just want to draw attention to that so that perhaps we will have to bring in various actors, experts, climate change experts, so that they will not invest a lot of money, maybe after two, three years, you see the building collapsing as a result of the climate change. If we go to our local villages, we know that we have a rich history in Sierra Leone when it comes to transatlantic slave trade and other important histories. But we are losing them. As Covid, we face these challenges. If we go to certain destinations and we start telling the history of those places, and maybe in, 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 in an instant we mention maybe the founding father of that particular historical town, then a tourist will have to, where is his house located? Where was he staying? We don't have a place to show. And that is very important. If you look at Ethiopia up till now, they can take you to where Haile Selassie was staying. They protect and preserve these things, and this is something that we are missing in Sierra Leone. I must point out very clearly. John Perotet, a tourism investment specialist, said having beautiful sites was not a yardstick for economic development, but conversion of these opportunities to actual investment was what Sierra Leone needs. He urged all involved in the tourism sector to have a clear vision for sector development based on market demand so as to attract the investment climate. The Tourism Investment Promotion Drive supported by World Bank is to ensure tourism becomes the art of Ceylon and attract investors so as to be part of the economic development in the country. SLBC News, Esther Sako reporting.